Like any other crew working for the U.S. Forest Service, these wildland firefighters line out in yellow and green, but they also go by another name. In Spanish, uh, trabajo de bomberos, uh, workers of fire. They're Mexican nationals hired by a contractor and trained in the U.S. to work jobs like this one on the Dixie Fire. I mean, you could be a store worker, a gas attendant, uh, you could be a teacher. Their crew boss, David Buenos Diaz, who came here from San Diego, has been a firefighter since he was just 18. And I've been doing it now 22 years. Though wildland firefighting can be dangerous and difficult work, Diaz says the bomberos come from all over Mexico for opportunity. People coming from Mexico, you know, it's the same as everybody. Everybody wants to make a good living. Everybody wants to eat well, feed our families, take care of our families. And this is why we're out here. 21-year-old Sergio Coria Blanco is one of the youngest faces in his crew, leaving behind his brothers and sister, waiting for him in his hometown of Morelia. Porque hay, pues hay muchas más posibilidades, pues, de... De, de generar, pues, dinero. With wildfire conditions in California growing ever more extreme, crews like this one are being utilized more often to mop up at the tail of the fire, which frees up specialized crews to attack at the head of the fire. En aparte de los de de combatir de combatir los incendios, uh, trabajamos en en trabajos diferentes de de reforestar. Ubaldo Vargas is the other crew boss who came from Medford, Oregon. Para las personas que vienen de de México pues uh, siempre tienen un sueño venir a, a trabajar fuerte y llevar, ayudar a sus familias. The bomberos who work in the U.S. can expect to make far more money here than they might back home. There's also a sense of brotherhood, accomplishment, and pride. My dad's a firefighter. I'm proud of him. He works hard every day. <laughs> Especially for their loved ones back home.